The countdown is on. SpaceX is expected to send another batch of satellites into orbit in just a matter of hours. Let's bring the scientist herself in. Rochelle Peart is here with a preview. Rochelle, I know you're excited about this. Yeah, we'll see how things go, Dan. This is set to happen in about two and a half hours, so around 8.46 is that official launch time. So this is going to be with the Falcon 9 rocket that we're talking about here, and that's going to be lifting off from Cape Canaveral in Florida um, at the Kennedy Space Center. So they're designed to send a few dozen Starlink satellites up into space, and the plan for this is to provide internet access to the entire planet. Now, letting you know this right now, there are already 600 Starlink satellites currently in orbit. And here's a look at how things will play out this morning. 35 minutes before the launch time, a mix of kerosene and liquid oxygen will be loaded onto the rocket. Seven minutes before liftoff, engine chill will start. Now that process brings the engine and the jet fuel to just the right temperature. At T minus 45 seconds, the launch director will make the final go or no go call. And then at 846, the Falcon 9 rocket is set to lift off. Now, of course, this is going to be based on what the weather does in the atmosphere conditions, not just at the ground, but higher up in the atmosphere as well. And that's uh, weather did postpone the launch that was set for Sunday. Current conditions at Kennedy Space Center, it's not too bad for a normal person, but of course the conditions that the rocket are looking for would be different. It's 78 degrees there. Winds are calm. Dew point at 76 degrees. There were a few showers out there, so we'll see if that clears out and that rocket is a go.